Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kodash, the Bahamas to the Apostles and Elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahashem is in the name, and Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and its sincerity. Shalom. This is your brother Kodash. We're back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. In the title of this video, Lord Willem, is going to be, uh, the name of the Lord is going to be magnified. All right, and uh, what inspired me to do this lesson? I was listening to the uh, <clears throat> to the elder apostle uh, Kabar, you know, not too long ago. He was going into, into uh, how the name of the Lord is going to be magnified. All right, and I'm gonna just start here. The Book of Psalms, chapter thirty-four, verse three. I'm gonna start at one. It says, I will bless the Lord Yahweh at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth, you know? And that's what that's what we that's what we're doing. Our, his praise is continually uh in our mouth. Where right? we're constantly uh praising the Lord day in, day out. It says, give him no rest until you make Jerusalem a a, a, a praise in the earth. Alright, so a hey, day in, day out, we're uh, giving praises unto our power, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai. It says, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. You see? And who's the humble? All right. The whole four elect. It says, my soul shall make her boast in the earth. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together, man. And that's what the elect is doing. The elect is uh, exalting the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. All right, we're not taking the name for granted. We're not saying saying that the name don't matter. All right, we're or we're boasting and we're magnifying the names Yahweh Bashmi and Shai. Uh, and it says, "Come, let us uh, um, exalt him together." This is Revelation fourteen and one. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on a Mount Zion, which is Yahweh Shai. And with them, 140 and 4,000. All right, the elect. All right, the elect men, the, uh, the prophets. It says, having his father's name, it says, having his father's name written in their foreheads, man. You see, so the elect, they're going to know the names of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. Okay? They're not going to say, oh, uh, we don't know the names yet. Uh, the names gonna come later. All right. We ain't telling you the name is Jesus. All right. We ain't saying none of those things, man. All right. We're glorifying the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. It's very important that you do that. It says the elect shall praise His holy name. Okay. Let me actually grab that. This is uh, Sirach seventeen and ten. It says, and the elect shall praise his holy name. All right. What, what does holy mean? It's, it's separate, set apart, Kodash. All right. So the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is separate and is set apart from any other name. All right. His name is not Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yeshua. All right. It's not ah Ahiah. All right. All right. It's not Yeshaya. All right. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And what does it say in uh, Acts 4 and 12? It says, neither is there salvation in any other. You see? So you can't call upon Yahuwah or Yahweh, Yeshua, and expect salvation. Huh? Okay? It says, neither is there salvation in any other. Okay? A salvation comes through the names Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Huh? Yahweh coming in the name of his son, Yahweh Shah. 
That's where salvation is going to come through, man. Okay? It says, For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So Yahweh, uh, the Heavenly Father, He didn't give us uh, Yahweh. Okay? He didn't give us God. He didn't give us Jesus. Okay? And when you go to uh, Exodus, Exodus 3, let me see, Exodus. I knew it was Exodus. Exodus 3 and uh, 15. I'm going to start at 14. I'm going to start at 13, actually. Exodus 3 and 13. And Moses said unto the Most High, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers have sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? You see? And this is what the Heavenly Father said. And, and, and the Most High, Yahweh, said unto Moses, I am that I am. All right. And so Moses came unto them and said, he is. All right. He's not going to say I am. All right. He's not going to be speaking of himself. All right. But he's going to say uh, he is. All right. And that's what the Heavenly Father's name means. All right. He is. He exists. He to be. You know, it says in the book of uh, Hebrews, it says that. He is a rewarder of them that diligently uh, seek him. It said, must believe that he is. This is Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. Okay. He, he is. He exists. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. You see? And that's what the Heavenly Father is. He's, he's not unrighteous to forget our labor of love. He's gonna from he's gonna remember us for all the uh all the works that we're uh that we're currently doing now. It says back to Exodus three and fourteen, and the most high said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. You see, he's going to, and Moses is going to tell them he, he is, you see. This is verse 15. And the most high moreover said moreover unto Moses, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord Yahweh power of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever. You see, this is my name forever. So the name of the Heavenly Father, it doesn't change, man. All right? It's not going to change. All right? It's always been Yahweh, and it always will. Heavenly Father, only begotten Son. Name is Yahweh Shah. It always was, always will be, man. It says, and the, and the power of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever. This is my memorial unto all generations, man. You see? And um, it made me think of another scripture. You know, but the Lord, the Heavenly Father doesn't change, man. Let me grab this Proverbs 3. And four, it says, who have ascended up into heaven or descended, who have gathered the wind in his fists, who have bound the waters in a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell, man? You see, we had somebody come up to the camp uh, just yesterday and they were saying, I mean, uh, at first, they were saying like uh, they thought the names was uh, uh, Ahia, Ashur, Ahia. I thought they said that. You know, I could be wrong. You know, but nevertheless, 
they they were saying they said that they were saying the, the names of the heavenly father uh wrong and we gave them the breakdown we gave them the correct names all right they received it you know so the name of the heavenly father and his son is very important the scripture says what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell man okay because the name of the lord is it's a stumbling block unto these people they see they see Jesus in the scriptures, you know, they automatically think, oh, the name of the Lord is Jesus, you know, but it's not, man. All right, the letter J wasn't invented to the late 1500s, man. Okay, so his name can't be Jesus. Okay, there's no E's, there's no U's in the Paleo Hebrew, so his name can't be Yahuwah, his name can't be uh, Yahweh, man. All right, you know. So it's very important that we uh, uh, continue to uh, magnify and preach these names, man. Okay. We only say the other names of the other of the other these other false idols, you know, just for edification's sake, man. You know, judgment going down. You know, but we only say them names for edification's sake, man. All right, the true names, once again, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right, we're going to continue to magnify those names. And the Lord uh, is living back off what the apostle was saying in the video. The Lord, he's going to magnify his name uh, through Jacob's trouble. Okay, let's get that word. Uh, that word, magnify. It says to speak or act for the glory or honor. You see, we're glorying the names Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, we're not glorying the name Jesus. All right, we're not glorying the name God. Okay, we're glorying in their true names, man. It says esteem greatly, extol. All right, and we're installing the names to the clouds. You see. It says, literally doing great deeds. We're doing great works in the name of Yahweh Shimei Shai. We're doing our lessons. We're, uh, we're reading. We're studying. We're praying. We're going out to the highways and byways. We're doing honorable acts to glorify his name. Okay? Every time we open up, every time we close, all right, we're closing out in those names. We're coming in those names. It says, those that sit so stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. Huh? And we're standing stiff for that name, man. Huh? All right? You know, so with that, you know, well, hold on one second. Yeah, let me just grab that. I love these name scriptures. Um, is that second? That's just two. It says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that I put off the mortal clothing. All right, these, this is speaking of the elect. They have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and received palms. Then said I, then said I, so I can lost my spot. It says, then said I, verse 46, then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them and give it palms in their hands? So he answered it and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai, whom they have confessed in the world. Then greatly, then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. You see, we're standing stiff. For the name of the Lord. You can't tell us the name of the Lord. It ain't, ain't Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. 
All right, I'm gonna get that word uh, commend. To commend those. All right, to praise, mention approvingly. Okay, to entrust. All right, it's not an easy thing to proclaim these names amongst these uh, unbelievers. All right, but the scripture says. So what if they don't believe? Okay, can't let that uh, uh, deter you. What it says, um, let not the incredulity of them uh, trouble thee. All right, because this today don't believe, don't let that trouble you, man. Okay, we got to continue to keep pushing, man. I was just thinking earlier, man. Hey, if you ain't if you ain't serving the Lord, give two dams about you, man. If you're not praising the names, you how about you how shy? Give two dams about you, man. Save our family, save our family, man. But the rest of these people, man, they 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 bugged out, man. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video was edifying. I'm gonna close and give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Akakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, and to the next lesson I say Shalom and the Baba Ball Shalom.